YouTube, Pepe coming to you, Captain Awkward's Fish Room, Jeff Chromos Pro 5, bringing you all another video this week. I know, I know, it's a lot of videos, but you know what, I don't care, you know, I mean, I'm having fun doing them, I hope you're having fun watching them, and, uh, you know, who doesn't like a little extra content, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, back in the day, I used to make everyday videos. Uh, of course, I won't be following that trend. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I really can't do that anyway. But I had a little free time today and wanted to bring y'all in the tank with Captain Awesome uh, because I do have some special things that I need to show y'all that I didn't show you yesterday um, inside of the acclimation video, though I was doing it at the same time. I was acclimating two separate orders of fish at the same time, uh, but I was more excited to show y'all the acclimation of Imperial Tropicals fish, because I think that the customer service Mike has over there is just outstanding, and I really, I, just me, I don't know, just me. Uh, so anyways, we're going to do In the Tank with Captain Awesome today, I have a few things changing in a few tanks. So I hope y'all enjoy today's video, um, I hope y'all like what you see, and I hope y'all enjoyed the extra videos this week. So without further ado, take a look at this, and we will be right back. Okie dokie, so now that we're right back, of course we're going to start inside of this tank that we've been starting in for quite a while now inside of my videos. Uh, but this is where uh, the magic behind the scenes yesterday happened, guys. I was acclimating more fish for this tank. Now, y'all saw me acclimate my Rhino Plecos to the lovely 30-gallon you see right there. Uh, and it was a great success. Y'all saw it. I picked them up. I showed them to you. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope y'all learned something as well. Um, you know... It, you know, a lot of people believe that when you're acclimating fish, uh, you float them in the bag, get them used to the temperature, then you just net them out and put them in the water. You know, that's another, uh, I'm not going to say great way to acclimate fish, but it's another way to get your fish inside of your aquarium. Uh, you know, of course it does take them weeks to get used to any kind of water quality that's inside of the aquarium that they... Uh, you weren't aren't used to being in uh, however I think that whenever you drip acclimate them or even whenever they're in the bag and you pour water from the tank in the bag and get them used to it that way uh, gets them it gives them less of a shock so I hope y'all enjoyed that but anyways on to today's news uh, there are some new well I'm sorry there is one new fish in here and there is also some new critters in here as well uh, we'll start with the critters because they seem like uh, they're harder to find, and I really want to show them to you. I got 25 of them. They actually sent me 32, uh, and this order actually came from Pet Solutions. Here's one right here, right here. You see it? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a ghost shrimp. Not a common, uh, you know, not, not something that you would see people uh, keeping inside of an aquarium. Uh, Blybity Blue Blah, it's not one of those uber rare types of shrimp. And then you see our star of the show swimming up back there. That right there is my new bitcher, and it is a Delhezy. Polypterus uh, Delhezy Rubba. Uh, it's a Delhezy Brit, it's a Delhezy bitcher. Uh, you all know that I have an ornate bitcher in here. He was out swimming around, but I guess the, the loudness of my voice scared him away. Uh, but this guy is doing great. We'll come give you a side shot. Has beautiful, beautiful markings on him. Look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. Just gorgeous. So we got him, and then we got some ghost shrimp. There's a better, there's a better, uh, you know, look at him right there. And... My buddy, <laughs> my buddy Sean, a uh, member of Team Aquatic Support, he was kind of poking fun at me uh, about me getting some ghost shrimp to put in here. 
And I, you know, I'll be honest, uh, you know, I like ghost shrimp, I like shrimp tanks, period, and, you know, he does too, but, uh, it's kind of the, the mixture of the type of fish that I have in here with shrimp, um, but the bitches are too small to eat these, well, too small to eat most of these shrimps, uh, my ornate, I've already caught, uh, wiping out the smaller of the shrimpy shrimps, uh, but the ghost shrimp, you can see one right there as well. right there. Uh, ghost shrimp are actually great scavengers and they're great to have inside of tanks where there is excess food or even algae guys. Uh, ghost shrimp eat algae and they do eat scrap food. Uh, so they're great to have inside of like a tank like this, okay? Uh, they, they're gonna be clean, there's another one. Like I said, I got 32 up and there's actually a bunch of them right there. And then there, there's our beautiful Delhezy. beautiful fish. I uh, wish I could show y'all my ornate, but uh, he scurried off for some reason. If I see him out again, of course I'll show you, but anyways, I uh, got those ghost shrimp, and then I got a Delhezy bitcher to grow out as well. Uh, so that's in this tank with Captain Awesome this week. Uh, another tank update will come down here, and you can see there is no divider anymore. Uh, and it's filthy just filthy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, y'all know I do my water changes, but here it is, right over here. You can see the female just looking, just looking really good. She's starting to color up uh, because she's around her male again, and uh, he's just sitting there like a dunce. Just sitting there. Whatever. But uh, no divider, so hopefully we can get some, you know, some spawning action. I'm really hoping we do anyway. Uh, another thing inside of this tank, as you can see, there used to be uh, a bamboo plant, and you could see all the roots right there. Well, Mr. Male Hoga there uh, actually ripped that plant apart. Okay, now if any of you have ever kept bamboo, you know how hard that plant is. Bamboo is hard, okay? Now, I'm not going to say he... He shredded it like a paper shredder, but he ripped it up, okay? The leaves were torn up. Uh, the actual stalk was actually just... I mean, it it was torn up. All up and down the plant, it was torn up. So I took that out of there. I threw it away. Uh, the There was still... You know, I'm still pulling uh, bamboo roots out, you can see. But, uh, there was, I mean, there was still a nice healthy section of bamboo, which you can see right here, the curly Q part. I went ahead and threw it away, guys. I'm not really into the bamboo anymore. Look at that beautiful shot right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Uh, and I have my buddy Sean Armentrout to thank for, uh, you know, the 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 recent explosion in plecos and bitchers inside of my fish room. Uh, I think I'm up to let's see four, four, five, six. I think I'm up to ten uh, plecos now and two bitchers. Um, so really exciting stuff. I used to keep and breed plecos a while back. Uh, so he rekindled that flame there, and really, I never really got into bitchers. I have kept them, uh, but the one that I kept was your your regular uh, sing singal or however you say that bitcher. Look at that guy's tail markings. That is a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful fish, and um, you know it just got me excited because you know inside of this hobby you can get stagnant keeping. Uh, the same type of fish, Central and South American cichlids, and you can look for new things, whether it be, sorry about the shakiness of the camera, guys, I think I'm getting sick, but, uh, you know, whether it be decorating your tank, setting up a community tank, whereas you normally only spe keep species only, uh, you can get stagnant, and you'll look for ways to, to excite your hobby more, okay, you will, it'll happen, it happens to everybody, and it just so happened I was at that point and I saw I saw beautiful plecos and beautiful bitchers and I was like that's it that's it that's gonna be the marshmallow to my stagnant cocoa 
So, uh, I'm totally into it. Um, the I'll probably only add maybe two or three more bitchers to my collection. Uh, one of which is hard to find. Uh, and, you know, if I ever do find one, then of course I'll share that with y'all. And of course it will be in my fish room. But uh, that's what's going on inside Captain Awesome's fish room today, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my new additions. And let's go down here, see if we can catch catch one of the rhinos. Oh, you just saw you just saw a common pleco eating on that algae wafer down there. There's one of the rhinos right there, just looking fantastic. Look at those big old nostrils. Now, another thing about these rhino plecos, guys, is they're actually they actually have a couple common names. One of which is rhino pleco and one of which is alligator pleco and they get they get the rhino obviously because of those nostril shoots uh, up on their head it looks like horns but they get the alligator uh, common name from the, if you ever seen an alligator you see those uh, bumpy scoots they have going down their back well these guys get that uh, not just like an alligator, it doesn't look that cool. Well, I mean, it looks that cool, but it doesn't look exactly like an alligator. Uh, they get those scoots going down the side of their body. So, uh, two, actually two common names. And another fact about the rhino pleco is they do not have an L number because they are already scientifically described. So, there's a little bit of fact for you inside Captain Awesome's fish room today. Um... Plecos don't carry an L number if they've already been scientifically described. So if you're ever looking for uh, some information on a pleco and you can't find its L number anywhere, uh, more than likely it's already been scientifically described. So its L number went away and was used for another uh, species that has not been scientifically described yet. So hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Go check out Aquatic Support Systems' Facebook page. Show them some love. Like the page. Get you some Southern Delight fish food, guys. It's great food. You only have to try it once to be hooked. And with that said, again, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Tell me what y'all think about the bitchers, the plecos. Uh, me taking out the divider, guys. I want to hear what y'all think, and we'll see y'all next time. Adiosa Barbosa.